Serena Williams says she almost died after giving birth to her daughter, Olympia. Andy Murray has told the BBC surviving the Dunblane massacre of 1996. One minute you're having a great time on vacation, and the next you're in a life and death struggle in the heart of the ocean. From Serena Williams looking death straight in the eye to Naomi Osaka almost turning into a shark's dinner. These are the nine tennis players that almost died. And first, we have to start with Serena Williams, because nothing is scarier than losing your life in the process of giving birth to your first child. Number 9. Serena Williams You see, back in April of 2017, Serena Williams announced to the world on Snapchat that she was 20 weeks pregnant. As exciting as it was, it was also a massive shock because Serena had earlier beat her sister Venus in the finals of the Australian Open in January of that year. So if you do the math, you'd realize that she was eight weeks pregnant when she won the tournament. Man, Serena is one heck of a strong woman, no doubt. But you see, her strength was tested in the scariest way possible, in the labor room, because Serena herself revealed that she almost died after giving birth to her daughter. According to the tennis goat, it all began with a pulmonary embolism, now, just in case you're wondering what that is, pulmonary embolism is a condition where the lungs become blocked by a blood clot. And if that wasn't enough drama, she coughed so hard that her C-section stitches practically popped open. So she had to undergo the surgery all over again. It was so bad that she spent over six whole weeks without leaving her bed. Luckily, Serena as we know her is a fighter, both on and off the court, so she managed to pull through that phase. Just like we almost lost Serena to childbirth, we almost lost Venus to a terrible disease back in 2011. Number 8. Venus Williams It's clear that the Williams sisters are arguably the most talented siblings in the tennis world, both in singles and as a team. And in 2002, Venus proved that again. The tennis star didn't just reach number one in the WTA rankings, she also became the first black woman to achieve such greatness since the 70s. But behind all that victory, Venus was fighting a battle that almost threw her career into the net. And even worse, her life. It turns out that Venus was struggling to keep her game strong for so long. But in 2011, things got really bad. The tennis star was diagnosed with Sjogren's Syndrome. Now, Sjogren's Syndrome is a disease that makes your body's moisture level as dry as a desert. And you know how much your body needs moisture. Her health got so bad that it sent her ranking down from number one to number 102 by the end of the year. When she went to the hospital to get professional help, the doctors advised the tennis star to take her diet more seriously. And it worked like magic. At first, the changes were tiny, but that was all the hope she needed. You know, baby steps. In no time, she was back on the court. And by the end of 2015, she found herself back to the top 10 female players in the world. Now that's what you call a miracle. But you know who else deserves the miracle tag? Number 7. Stefanos Tsitsipas It all went down back in 2015. After one of his matches during a third-tier Futures event in Crete, Tsitsipas needed to blow off some post-match steam, so the Greek player decided to go swimming off the coast of Crete with his friend. But little did he know that his cool-off session was about to make him swim for his life. Turns out Stefanos and his buddy misjudged the strength of the currents and were both dragged out to sea. And when they panicked and tried to fight their way to shore, things only got worse. At some point, Stefanos even made peace with the fact that it was over for him. Our boy was probably saying his last prayers. Thankfully, Stefanos' dad, Apostolos, dived in to guide them back to safety. I guess what they say is true after all. Not all superheroes wear capes. And in Tsitsipas' case, that superhero was his dad. Anyways, Stefanos isn't the only tennis player with a dreadful memory at sea. Because back in 2019, Naomi suffered the same thing. Only this time, she almost became shark food. Number 6. Naomi Osaka After the 2019 season, Naomi Osaka decided to escape the tennis court with her sister for a well-deserved vacation in the Turks and Caicos Islands. For the most part, their getaway was a blast. However, things went south when Naomi's sister convinced her to try paddleboarding, despite the fact that Naomi was about as experienced as a fish on a bicycle. As soon as they hit the water, they got hit by an unexpected current that came out of nowhere. This was where the former tennis number one freaked out. 
because for starters, they were getting farther away from shore. Even the house began to look like a tiny dot. And to top it off, she couldn't swim to save her life. As if that wasn't enough, she fell into the water and panicked even more because she was terrified of becoming shark food. Luckily, Naomi managed to get back on the board, and just then, her sister spotted a shark from afar, which terrified Naomi even more. Thank goodness they were able to make it back to shore just in time. Now, I know the sea sounds pretty dangerous, but what if I told you that some players get their death scare right on the court? Take Paola, for instance. Number 5. Paola Badosa You see, during the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo, Badosa was forced to withdraw from the competition after suffering an attack in the middle of the match. It turns out that the heat in Japan can be hot enough to pop popcorn sometimes. And unfortunately, during Paola's match, the sun was shining at its brightest, and it was too hot for the Spaniard to handle. She collapsed right on the court, and when the paramedics stepped in, they confirmed that Paola was having a heat stroke. It was so bad that they had to take her off the court in a wheelchair. She also had to pull out of the doubles category because Paola was in no shape to compete. Man! But here's the real kicker. Paola wasn't the only tennis player that has almost died from a heat stroke during that period. In fact, her episode on the court happened right after this guy suggested that he almost died due to the heat during the same competition. And by this guy, we're talking about… Number 4. Daniil Medvedev It all went down during his match against Fabio Fonini. During the third round of the competition, Medvedev was struggling more than a toddler with shoelaces and he had to call not one, but two medical timeouts. And when the chair umpire asked Daniil if he could continue the game, the Russian snapped back, asking who would take responsibility if he dies. The heat must have gotten to him real bad. Medvedev eventually called for a rethink of the schedule, and they ended up playing the match later on in the day when the sunshine wasn't at its peak. Luckily for him, Medvedev went on to beat Fonini 6-2, 3-6, and advanced to the next round. That was a close call, but definitely not as close as the time we almost lost Julie Brizard. Number 3. Julie Brizard Back in January of 2020, a 48-year-old Julie was out on the tennis court, trying to nail a 99 out of 100 hit. Sounds pretty impressive, right? Well, sadly, it didn't turn out like she had imagined. You see, Julie's aim was about as accurate as a blindfolded kid playing pin the tail on the donkey. Her ball ended up 20 feet off course. And that was it. The next time Julie opened her eyes, she realized that she had just woken up from a coma. Turns out, she had a cardiac arrest. And thankfully, a doctor who just happened to be at the club saw the whole thing play out and came to the rescue. Now that was a pretty close call, right? And speaking of close calls, did you know that Andy Murray once rode in a car with the same maniac responsible for murdering 16 kids in his school? Number 2. Andy Murray You see, Murray was born and raised in Dunblane. And as much as the place holds beautiful memories, it also holds the most traumatizing memory for the tennis player. Because back in 1996, Andy was only a kid when a man named Thomas Hamilton stormed his primary school and shot 16 children and a teacher dead before turning the gun on himself. But what makes it even more traumatizing is the fact that Murray actually knew the killer in question. It turns out the tennis star used to attend a youth group that was run by Hamilton, and Murray's mom would even give the guy rides in her car sometimes. Of course, without knowing how crazy the guy was. It was very traumatizing for Murray, because he could have been among the kids that died that day. Can you imagine? And here's the real kicker. That single experience gave the British tennis player loads of anxiety. Luckily, he found a coping mechanism in tennis, and it eventually helped him pull through. Now, I know Murray's experience was horrible, but this next guy literally received death threats even after almost dying on the court. And that guy is number one, Taylor Fritz. Back in 2021, Fritz was battling it out with James Duckworth during the National Bank Open in Toronto, when suddenly, he started clutching his chest in discomfort. Like you would expect, the doctors rushed to his aid and checked his blood pressure. And boy, it had gone through the roof. The tennis star eventually had to pull out of the match for the sake of his well-being. Later that day, Fritz posted a tweet explaining that he was okay on Twitter, 
but fans online didn't seem to care. They started cursing him out. The tennis star even posted a screenshot of death threats he got from gamblers who had probably made a bet with their life savings. And if we're being real, it doesn't get scarier than that. It's number one on this list for a reason, you know. And there you have it, folks. Which of these experiences made your jaw drop? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to learn more interesting things about your favorite tennis players.